A big part in navigating your WordPress experience is to understand the front end and the back end. And the back is this area where we're currently working. This is where we change everything. This is where we build the settings, etc. And the front end is how it will look to a visitor. To jump between these two, you go to the top where you see this currently saying just another WordPress site and you click on it. And this takes you to the front end. Currently, this is how it looks. Go back to just another WordPress site and click again on it and it will take you to the back end. And you can just keep clicking on this the whole time and jump back and forth between the two. Many people will tell you that when you go up there, you will see there's a drop down that says visit site and that you need to click that. Potato, potato, it's one extra little movement of your cursor. You really don't need to do that. You can simply click there on just another WordPress site. You will see again here, we get the option of the dashboard versus the themes. But again, if you just want to go to the admin area, you click here on just another WordPress site. By the way, this little black bar at the top where we see this is called the WordPress toolbar. At this moment, I want to kind of teach you a workflow, and that is to have one tab open in the back end and another tab in your browser open in the front end. And this is what you can do. Go to just another WordPress site, hover over it, don't click. And now you're going to click hold. So click hold and then drag that and you take it to the top of your browser and you drop it there. And this will open another tab for you within the browser with the front end. How you work now is that when you make any changes in the back end, you simply go to the front. And what we do is every time here on reload this page or refresh, you simply click that and you will see those changes happening. This is how most people work. And sometimes you will have so many tabs open there in the top, you will get lost. I want to show you another way how you can quickly open a tab. So close that tab. Hover over just another WordPress site and on your keyboard, you hold down control and on a Mac, that's going to be command. Click on it and by holding down control and then clicking, it will open the tab automatically with that link. That is a very nice way that we will be working. So leave this open and now we go back to our back end and we go look at this theme, the theme that is determining how all of this looks, where this font is coming from how our header looks at the top, what's happening with our footer here at the bottom, where this green is coming from. That's all determined by the theme. Go back, appearance, and select themes. We have here three themes, and really this differs a lot from host to host, depending on who you are using. Sometimes there will be four or five, sometimes 10, sometimes just one theme. In this case, we have this theme that says Active 2023. And this is the latest theme that the WordPress developers actually give you to use for free. You can see the old ones there, 2022, 2021. Sometimes they skip a year if nothing miraculous had happened during that time in terms of releases for WordPress. The, these themes are very limited though, and you're going to find that if you need a theme to work with, if you need to have more control, these themes are not going to rock your boat at all. So what we do is that we go look for third party themes, people who made themes to be compatible with WordPress and good themes. Do some research on Google, look for best themes for WordPress 2023. You'll always find a million articles. What you need to do between those articles is check the themes that they have in common. That will be my tip for you. But the theme we're going to use, tried and tested, and I love it, is called Bloxy. There are other great themes too, but in the end, you need to make a choice. Go to Add New, because we're going to find this theme in the WordPress little archive library, which we refer to as the WordPress repository. By clicking on Add Themes, you will see that, whoa boy, there are a number of themes here. These are all third party. These are probably your neighbor who made some of them during the night while you were sleeping. The good ones actually all appear here at the top. I can see them like Astra, we have Neve. They are really good ones that you can use. And then of course, I told you the one that we're going to be using is Bloxy. In the search box for search themes, go ahead and type in Bloxy and it will search through the repository. 
If it's free, it's here. It's kind of how the WordPress world works. You're supposed to put the free stuff here because WordPress will run some checks on them. Do they comply to the code? Make sure there's no malware or security issues in it. Great. So with Bloxy, you will hover over it and you click on install. Whenever you bring in something new into WordPress, you go through two processes every time. One is to bring it into your framework, and that is the installation. But you're not using it yet. The second part is to activate it. Don't click on activate yet. Go back to appearance and select themes again so we can bring in all the themes. Now we see we have four themes. We've added Bloxy. 2023 is still active, but what we want to do is we want to activate Bloxy. We click on activate. And it's activated. And what it does, it actually gives us a dashboard for the Bloxy theme. Go to the front end. Your, your tab is still open. I hope you left it open. And what we're going to do now is refresh our page. And as you refresh it, you will see that things change. Some of the text is gone and things look different. The font has changed. And that is because we're using a new theme. With this done, let's jump back and we are going to go to appearance, select themes, and now I'm going to clean up my themes as well. But once we get here, you're going to see, thanks for installing Bloxy, you rock. <laughs> Who needs to tell me that? And then it says, install the Bloxy companion. Mm. Now the Bloxy companion is an add on to the theme. You don't need it. If you're going to do very basic stuff with the theme, you don't need it. But we are going to use a feature called the transparent header, which is part of this additional feature. So we need to install the Bloxy companion. This will be a plugin and a plugin will go into the plugins folder. The great thing that Bloxy has done is that this has become an automated feature. So all I need to do is click here on install Bloxy companion. And it's going to go through the process. And now, once this companion has been installed, also notice that in the navigation sidebar on the left, there's now a label for Bloxy. They actually have their own little house now there that we can go and visit them whenever we need to make changes. And the dashboard has improved with a few additional stuff like starter sites. Great. And if you go to plugins, select it, you'll note that we have one plugin now. We deleted those three at the beginning, and now we've installed the Bloxy companion, and this is where we can find it. Go to Appearance and select Themes, and let's now finally do the cleanup. Bloxy is active. 2023 has been deactivated. These three, click on them, and then here in the bottom right corner, select Delete. It's going to ask me, yes, I want to delete it, and we do it for the other two as well. If you get to that impossible situation where you say, oh, but I missed 2022 theme. I really want to bring it back. You can just go again to add new, search the WordPress repository and bring it back in. But I guess you're not going to bring that back in. Now we have set up our Bloxy theme for us to work with. And I think before we look even at bringing in the page builder, Let's still do the setting up of our site. Let's go look at our site identity and how we can do that. We set up the theme and what I would like to do is to change actually our name of our site with a little bit description, which is the site identity and our tagline. But at the same time, I also want to change that little image up there. We refer to this image. You see currently it's a little circle. It's called a favicon. What we want is this one over here. And for that, we need to bring in our images. And those are the creatives that I've prepared for you. So let's do that in the next chapter.